So we've got a raft to right on that end, Simon, yes? Yeah. And then the second one. I normally pick a couple of really nice ones to start with because if the day starts horribly, it never seems to get going right. So, uh, but, uh, we've got some nice reed here to start with anyway.
have one of those hooks at the back of that box, please? Thank you. This is where, you know how these are slightly wider in place, Simon? Yeah. We're going to have to, I'm going to have to spike diagonally here. Right. Um, when I went to wave the other day, I did think to myself that one or two were fairly wider than the others, but um, there's no easy way to get around it really. It's just. got this base on you can start and stick everything in around you so you, you, you're actually carrying stuff. Now this is a uh, six mil pre-stressed high tensile that is. Oh, right. It's extremely strong mm -hmm. and um, what used to be used there would have been a hazel rod about as thick oh, as your finger right. yes. Yeah. Yes. and that was okay but what it actually did is it gapped the materials yeah. and as the roof wears back you start to get lines across the roof, what are uh, called tram lines yeah. so it actually the thatch starts to open yeah. as it gets clo closer back to it right. but uh, no, well, I think what I'll do there is I'll put the next excuse me, I'll put the brow on there now the next course up and uh, and while you can reach it you're as well actually putting that on because the further and further you come away with this then you're oh, yeah. leaning over it yeah. and put it on again. I like this rod as well because one end of it has this button on it. Oh yes. Whereas the other end, that is so sharp, you wouldn't believe it. It's um, mm. it had cut you to the bone. No, because I'll bring them over in, oh, in, uh, five, in yeah. yeah. Yeah, or however they call me, innit? Uh -oh. How high is this board, Simon? Not 12 inches. Brow, eh? That's the brow, the, the eave brow, right. and then your courses just come in then yeah. as you actually climb the roof itself.
as I say, some of the briar tyres that I've used, um, they are so strong, yeah. you know, you have to sort of use a knife to cut them, even though they can be three, four, sometimes 500 years old. Yeah. tend to overlook is that once you get going off the roof with it you should alternate the hooks. Oh should you? Yeah. So one's that way, one's that way. Right. So this rod shouldn't move about at all. Right. I'll put them two in there because that one just was awkward round there. Mm. But um, the uh, if you do that there's no way that then that, that rod is going to trip out of no, itself, so, sure. you know yeah. the other one will be reversed round. Yeah. But, um, even the brow on. Once you've got that on and you start chasing them along the courses, uh, I like to try and bring them on in twos and threes. You know, you bring bring it out there, start another one, start yeah. another one, and then right. actually come along with it. But, yeah. um, I say it's, uh, 